Olympics. So Tokyo, um, I've been to Tokyo four times. I don't really like it. It's too crowded. Uh, it takes forever to get from Narita Airport into uh, the town. I like Kyoto, a beautiful town, not affected by World War II. Imperial used to be the imperial capital. I mean, I could spend a week in Kyoto. Tokyo, not so much. So Tokyo's working on its fourth state of emergency in the last two months. Okay? So this state of emergency goes from July 12th, um, a few days ago, to August 22nd. The Olympics go from July 23rd to August 8th. So when the Olympic athletes are competing in Tokyo in and around, all cities under lockdown. Why? Because only 15% of Japanese are vaxxed. And again, I bring it back to, we are lucky here in America. We're lucky we had a president that got that vaccine. Okay, do you think Joe Biden could have gotten that? <laughs> he would have been calling about voter fraud. Anyway, maybe that's unfair. So um, in Japan, there is a mess. They're going to have the Olympics because of money. The Japanese government's uh, already invested $15 billion, or probably another fifteen before it's over. NBC is about $5 billion investment. Uh, when you got money like that, you're going to have whatever you want to have. So these athletes are going in there. Now, I understand 80% of the athletes are vaxxed, but I don't know that for a fact. They have to get tested, but there's no mandatory vax for athletes at the Olympics. In the meantime, here in the United States, uh, COVID cases are up 94% in two weeks. So we got another surge, and this is the pattern behavior all over the world. So it goes up, it goes down, it goes up again. Okay, so 94%. Still not the way it was, 23,000 daily average in the USA. But it's double what it was two weeks ago. All right, now, though... Worst states for COVID right now are Tennessee, Arkansas, Alabama, Kansas, and Louisiana. Low vaxxed states. Everybody understand? If you don't get the vax, you could get COVID. You got a much bigger chance of getting it. And then you spread it. Okay. So in the United States, we're going to have this. And I will recommend to you, you stay out of those crowds. I'm going to go to a couple of concerts this summer. I'm going to go. I'm, I'll bring a mask, whether I wear it or not. It depends on how many people are near me. But, it, you know, even though I'm vaxxed, you got to be careful. It's not 100%. But this Olympic thing, this is shaping up. Uh, um, you know, I actually said a prayer last night to protect those athletes over there. And there's not going to be any spectators. But I don't want this to be bad. I hope I'm wrong. So there'll be 42 different venues in and around Tokyo. You know, it's good for the world. The world needs relief. It needs to watch it on TV. This provides relief. It's good. The athletes, they train, train and train. I was an athlete. I know how hard that is. I don't want them, you know, not to have the opportunity, but I'm just seeing danger. All right, Germany. <laughs> Now, uh, I don't know how many times I've been to Germany, but a lot, a lot. It's, it's beautiful in the South, Bavaria, all that. Love that. German people, uh, you know. Do you realize the biggest ethnic group in America are German-Americans? Largest group. Um, but Germany still has underneath its liberal facade this kind of totalitarian view. Listen to this. So YouTube and all the social media, very big in Germany, what Berlin is doing is fining them if they violate people's rights. So a German court is ordering YouTube to pay 100,000 euros, that's $118,000, because it removed the video of a protest against COVID lockdowns. So YouTube took it off, just like they do here. All right, and Facebook and all of them. And German Court says, no. No, we're going to find you. I said, oh, wow. We're doing that here? No. We're not doing that here. 
That's the solution to this censorship problem. Although the liberal courts in the United States, I don't know if they're going to be off the mark. But if you could get a fair hearing and there would be a law saying you cannot remove political speech. And if you do, we're going to find you a half million, a million dollars. It would stop. So Germany is doing it. Caveat. If you put violent stuff on any social media, it should be taken off immediately and you should be reported to the authorities. Any kind of violence at all, any kind of threats against anybody. No. That's not free speech. That's danger. Fellow Americans, I am concerned about the U.S. dollar. Huge debt, as you know. Will it stay as the world's reserve currency? That's why now more than ever, I recommend you diversify with gold and silver. And the only company I recommend and have for years is American Hartford Gold. I trust them. I've personally done business with them. They sell physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA. And they make it very easy. So call them right now. Make sure you tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. And they will give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. Since I have been recommending American Hartford Gold, gold shot up more than 40%. Silver, more than 60%. So don't wait. Call them now. 8 Six six five zero one five two zero one eight six six five zero one five two zero one or text Bill to six five five three two again that's eight six six five zero one five two zero one or text Bill to six five five three two. Bill O'Reilly here. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you subscribe to the First TV YouTube page. Just hit the big red subscribe button below and you'll get clips and highlights of my program, The No Spin News, every single day. We'll see you soon.